Think about the strength of Miasma as well. On this very, very small map, if you get caught by the middle of... Uh, uh, just for that straight up fight, uh, where on the side of NA, it is double Comet. They are purely looking to poke it out, push it out. And we see Uzi does take actual cleanse. So post six, that is going to be very nice for him, of course. Yeah. You know, being able to uh, remove those potential CC ultimates coming in from the North American team. But that being said, if, if they're actually brawling it out earlier, the cleanse isn't going to do much of anything for him. And, you know, we'll see if they actually opt into any pre-six fights where he could be punished for not having some like gear earlier. Yeah, whether they get caught out either. I mean, um, between the Miasma and the Hail of Arrows, there's also a lot of, like, inherent slow built in. Yeah. Um, fortunately for Uzi, he'll be able to just dash away from one of them. Um, whereas Guang Zong, on the other hand, one thing we haven't touched on yet, his drain. When he gets to those counter minions, if given enough time, there's also some sustain in that kit. That will just keep him in lane a little bit longer. Uzi trying to dodge as much as he can, but Boy Boy's birth is not a Yeah, and that is going to be, you know, kind of one of the struggles here for Castillo, who is extremely mana hungry. You do kind of have a really good one punch early in the game where yeah. if you actually hit your poison, you stand with those Fin Fangs, but, but now he's sitting on on very little mana, so the name of the game may just be push and reset here uh, for the NA team and try to just get Boy Boy's mana back up and, and continually look to fight uh, when he is very high on the mana. How risky would it be to run a Kothis in this game? Because he's also super mana hungry, right? Yeah. I think but it's tough because a lot of his power really kind of comes with his level six. Yeah. Um, and also, obviously, the passive isn't really doing you much good unless you're getting a couple. Of hey, in a two v two, if you go down yeah. first to help get a double, double lift. Let's find out. Double lift goes down. Forced to flash away. Summon a heals used. Void boys low in mana. Chases forward oh. by Otto, but he miscalculates. That's in a math's not going to work out for the kill. <laughs> and China are able Some to escape. Quick right there. Yeah, Didn't I was going to go that way enough, but now I'll go for the burn. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's all about fun at All-Star here. Yeah, you know? and, and he doesn't get punished for not having heal, right? Yeah. Like, he barely survived. I was going to say, oh, hey, maybe there he did uh, actually get knocked down because of that. But in this case, he survives. Uh, we see all four summoners down for the NA side. Two summoners still available uh, for the Chinese representatives. And when you see a, a Fiddle getting to level six, if he can hit six and there's no flashes available on the other side, hey, their yeah. potential for an all-in becomes pretty darn good. Yeah, definitely. And, and this is a pretty even CS game. Three separates them. Um, first backs have been picked up, so potions on multiple sides. Important to note, the fiddlesticks, um, only the single biscuit. So, gonna be relying on that drain if he gets poked out by those piercing arrows. Uzi, on the other hand, already got a single charge fuse on that refillable potion, so he's also Gonna be hurting a little bit, which is problematic when you can see how double lift can just zone them away with that charge Q. Yeah, a, a lot of this really does come down to also kind of who's controlling the health packs as well. Like yeah. if you can really get the push and monopolize those health packs, that can uh, make a pretty big difference in the game. So far, it's been fairly even in that regard. Uh, we can see Fiddle's out of potions now, though. Yeah, and of course, remember these are the uh, retro uh, HP packs, not the new AOE ones on Monday ARAM. Yep, gotta pick and choose who's gonna who's gonna actually take it, right? Well, um, double lift and Uzi. I, I think. <laughs> I what a boy boy like, zoom! I feel like, okay, that's fair. That that would be probably a, a valid one. Boy boy really chasing down. No flash this time round. Looking for an option, but you can see how powerful that twin fang is in this situation. Yeah, and uh, they were down, uh, I believe, a couple CS just a little bit, but now they are getting pretty heavily ahead. Uh, they won the poke battle so much in this last little kind of round of fighting in this last skirmish. So they will be able to push it in, but uh, the LPL team should be able to get back to lane and hopefully for them pick up a fair bit of this farm. We may be seeing Uzi uh, going for something just like a, a Hex Trinker again. We saw that be pretty effective for Captain Jack earlier when paired up with Faker. Not sure if that is going to be the buy, but we'll find out. Well, Double Lift will be pretty happy. Um, he just picked himself up a long sword off the second Dorans. Mm -hmm. And of course, the duo names, Uzi and Guangzhong, they're known as Guangzi and Void Boy and Double Lift. They are Double Boy. Um, the winner of this 2v2 will go on to face Diamond Flash in the next round, which will take place tomorrow. I feel like but Double Boy just sounds like you're just like a superhero sidekick. Yeah. Right? You're definitely not the main character if you're Double Boy. Well, in a game against Uzi, I think. <laughs> I think that's pretty fair, right? Um, sometimes you just have to concede there is a bigger <laughs> fish sitting next to That's you. That's true, yeah. Now, uh, there's the Dark Wind. Good poke damage on the double lift. Despite the poke war, but Uzi gets oh, chunked ah. out, eats a twin fang. Miasma goes down. Flash is available for Fiddle in just a moment's time. But I like the strategy. Every time 
the trades break out. It feels like Boy Boy's the one that's pushing forward, zoning with the Fangs. Um, and Double Lift is just sitting behind and, and CSing. So strategically, it seems to be the plan. Yeah, you know, they, they seem to be pretty cohesive with that plan. And, and also, I mean, Varus can can CS with autos and still assist with that poke from long range, you know, piercing arrow yeah. coming in from pretty yeah. far away. Uh, kind of working pretty well in that regard. And they are opening up, you know, a decent CS lead, but the wave will be pushing into Uzi, should be able to pick it up. And we also have to remember, when Fiddle hits six, there should still be a small window where he has flash and his opponents do not. And that may be uh, the best chance uh, for Uzi uh, and one Zong to uh, go for that. It's so hard. <laughs> it's, it's such a difficult nickname, and we're not done yet, Azale. Uh, six minutes, 40. Ultimate's picked up. Oh, boy, boy, and double if That petrifying gaze could be a game changer as well. Yeah. Because if the Crowstorm comes in and insta petrifying, you know, no follow up with the silence, no follow up with the fear, you can turn that around. Yeah, and the fact that they keep landing so much poke is actually made them miss enough experience and delay enough time that now they should be able to back off and, and have flash, right? There should be no window for that all in because you, know, you can see Boy Boy is about two thirds of the way to level seven and Fiddle is still level five, right? So that experience advantage has, has became uh, pretty large here. Uh, he is level six now. Uh, there's the tiniest of windows maybe on double lift. But well, it's a, very, it's a very tiny window because it's 18 CS yeah. left before North America will pick themselves up and win against China in the 2v2 Pro-Am charity event. 68 CS to 82, either 100 CS, two kills with the tower. I'm sure you guys know it by now. We've seen ourselves, this is the sixth 2v2. What has been the best 2v2 that you guys at home have seen? Hit us up on Twitter, jump on the socials, because you know, five of them have resulted in kills. Sorry, four of them have resulted in kills. There's only one CS victory. And game six, this might be another CS victory? Yeah, it's definitely possible. I think we're gonna at least see uh, the fiddle all in attempted. Uh, the wave is eventually gonna push this NA team, so they don't need to walk forward. They just basically have to sit there, wait for the wave to come to them, and they're trying to play it extremely safe and just guarantee this CS win, because they know the only chance is a Fiddlesticks ultimate. Yeah, but it is allowing Uzi and Guangzong to catch up. Yes, there is a wave in a bit um, in front of North America, but farming over the tower is pretty tough. So get some poke down. Tower shot's not going to help Uzi out. 81 to 85. Yeah, they're, they're missing a decent amount of these, so it's it's really not that big of an advantage, but there's another right. wave here. It's going to be tough. Chain of Corruption will catch on to Guangzong. He's going to go low. Flash forward from double him. The culling comes up from Uzi. Nobody's died yet. Both teams escape, but it's 9 CS, 8 CS for Double Boy to pick themselves up the win. Oh, yeah, and then that one piercing arrow would have taken him down. Fiddle Six has to go back to base yet again, so Uzi's going to be in this 1v2. Uh, there's about one There's one more minion after this wave if they see it perfect. I think, actually, if they find this one out, five, that's what they're going to yeah. do. They need one more minion after Cannon this. wave is going to push into Void Boy and Double Lift, and one thing that I don't think we've said just yet is that a Twin Fang under the tower with the different tower HP shots, very effective for picking up the kill. One CS is all Void Boy and Double Lift need. Crowstorm's available for Kuang Zong. He needs to jump in. Piercing Arrow. Double Lift just needs to park backwards, fire the Q and pick it up. Yeah, we'll see if he can actually get in range for it. Fiddle's got to step up and try to stop him. And oh, oh and they go. underneath the tower. This is just to prevent it. Three CS. Oh, my word. Down oh. Oh, Picked up by North America. Three CS is all China needed. <laughs>